This playthrough is rated T for teen. You know, this music sounds like it's a tropical paradise, despite being in the middle of a war zone in, you know, some foreign country, at least to most of these folks. But at least we got gold. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Front Mission 4. In the last episode, we, uh, we finished a little bit of, uh, Emma's, uh, storyline as we, uh, uh, figured out a bit more about, like, what's going on with, uh, you know, the German situation over there. But then all of a sudden, abruptly, we get handled... A different tale with Daryl and his crew over in uh, Venezuela, I think that's what it says it, it was, and uh, we're here in the UCS dealing with the situation there. However, Daryl and his crew, at least his cohorts, uh, Schaefer and Re Renyas or whatever, have uh, other plans as they found a, a pile of gold left to them uh, from a plane that got shot down. So now they got to figure out a way to get the gold and get out of here. So let's see if we can figure out to get a transport this stuff. So despite the power of the mechs, they're not designed to transport that much stuff, especially in that crate. So we're going to have to find another way to get to it. So let's get into the garrison and find out. I envy you guys. Well, I'm stuck here. You guys go on patrol. Don't deny it. I know you're not doing any work out there. No, eh, at the real. No. How about you, Renyas? We got to make sure no one knows we found this crate. I got I to gotta get my... My Spanish accent going. Sorry, I know that's not really a Spanish accent, but uh, that's you make what you do. Carry, uh, God, I already used my nerd voice with Hermes, and he's kind of also got the nerd thing going on there. So, uh, you know, carrying that thing with our Vonzers isn't gonna be easy. We'll need one of those trucks in the hangar, but they probably won't let us take one without a good reason. Don't worry, I'll think of something. And if you think so, Daryl. You seem to be the idea, man. Hey, Renyas, my man, how's it going? Not too bad. I need to borrow one of those trucks. You know, for the usual work, I have some connections here. Not today, Renyas. I almost got in trouble last time. Make your connections wait while wait a, for a while, okay? Unless you bring me an official allocation order, that is. Hey, Renyas, er, <clears throat> hey, Renyas, what what connections? You don't need to know. Does Daryl know? Kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens when we talk to him again. I already told you. I can't let you use any hardware without an official order. Okay, just making sure he doesn't have any unique dialogue. I talked to him a few times. All right, let's go to the command center. Talk to the boss. Fifth platoon reporting, sir. We've encountered no enemy activities on our patrol, sir. That's, a, that's certainly true. Thank you, Sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Wait! Major, is it 5th Platoon in charge of Sector B2? Yes, sir. Did you see anything suspicious? Nothing out of the ordinary, sir. You didn't hear any explosions or received any transmissions? No, sir. Yeah, he's got the cold face. <laughs> then exactly what were you doing at Sector B2? Patrolling, sir. <laughs> Something funny, private? Oh, uh, no, no I mean, no, sir. Hmm. Major, I seem to remember hearing from you that these men have utterly deplorable track records. Is this true? Yes, sir, especially this sergeant. He's famous for skipping out on his duties. Why haven't they kicked him out of the army by this point? Wonderful! How does the general expect me to fight the state army with such useless personnel? Well, I'd be surprised if these fools could even take an anthill without suffering casualties. What punishment should I give these men, Colonel? Just get them out of here, out of my sight, now. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What? Well, apparently this is a pretty lax army or something like that. They don't even know how to punish people. Apparently, at this point, so. Let's go out to Colonel Dan Donalds again. Great Caesar's ghost! You still all gagging out here? Get out! Get out! That's got to be a reference. Either that might be the translator referencing um, the not the Flesher, uh, the Superman show. It was in the forties, I think. It might have been older than that. But they always actually he might he uh, Perry White might also. I think that was Perry White. Um, I think he might also say that in the comics a lot too. But he used to say Great Caesar's Ghost a lot. That might be a turn of phrase by that, in that period of time, but that's the where I'm familiar with it from, so see if he repeats himself. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Major, what is Colonel Donald so upset about? You hear about the state army transport plane that the Air Force shot down? Well, the colonel was ordered to find it, but so far we had no luck. If you have come, if you'd come back with some news of this transport, I wouldn't have the colonel breathing down my neck. Hope you're happy, Sergeant. Uh, sorry, Major. If I may ask, sir, what was the transport carrying? That's what we're trying to find out. Huh, so even they didn't know. Ah, of course. So, good for us, I guess. Operator mail, huh? Not important enough to get a name. The transport was headed for a top of... A a top bapo. It changed course when it was intercepted by the Air Force. It was headed east towards us before it disappeared from radar. Hmm. Operator female, huh? Hey, you corporal. Hello, Sergeant. How are you? Yeah, she's actually kind of cute. For Too bad she's too cute for a general operation or uh, operator girl. <laughs> so, great, though I'm always chipper when I get to talk to you. You're as gorgeous as always. Wow, thank you. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. I, uh, I was wondering if you could get me some papers from one of the trucks. You know, for our future and all that. Sergeant, what's a truck have to do with our future? Everyone's looking for that state army transport, right? What if I came back with a truck full of its cargo? I'd be dating a hero. Me and you, Sergeant. Tempting, but I can't. Hey, why not? You'll need an allocation order signed by the Colonel himself. You know that. Unless you know where the transport is. If I let you take the truck without permission, you come back empty-handed, I'll get demoted, you know. Well, that'd be kind of dickish to do, or Daryl doesn't seem like that type of guy. Uh, yeah, I guess. Alright, we gotta try something else. But what? Let's go to the communications hangar and see what happens. Well, if it ain't the, sto <laughs> it ain't the Stooges, what's up? Apparently these guys are the three Stooges, who knew? Work. Work? You three? That's funny. Hey, Johnny boy. Give us a break. We need you to do us a little favor. You hear about the transport that was shot down? I keep changing his accent. I'm going to get it one of these days. Yeah, actually, I was trying to find out what the Venezuelan army boys had to say about that on that frequency just now. We need you to write us a report. One that says you caught a distress signal coming from the south. Is that where the transport is? Yep. Positive. Man, what a stone-cold li liar you are. You must must be used to it by this point. South? I thought it was... Quiet, you... <laughs> Silence, you... <laughs> you sure about this? I may lie to officers, but I never lie to buddies. Uh, that's a lie, and you know it. If the transport doesn't turn up in the south, then tell them I forced you to do it at gunpoint. Whoa. Okay. All right, give me a few minutes. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, let's talk to the guard while the radio does that. Hey, what are you doing here? Getting away from work like you slackers do all the time. Take my word for it, amigo. Man can't do without work if he wants to realize his dream. What's with you today, Daryl? What are you talking about? I've always been a hard-working model soldier, you know. May lightning strike me down if, I, if I'm if lying. Just don't kill the captain I'm here, okay? You try staying in the heat out there for ten hours a day. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that. That's why I don't... I don't. I feel bad for construction workers. Yeah, they do it and they get paid a decent amount, but man, having to do it in certain weather conditions, I don't know how they do it, man. Here, I'm done. Great, let me see. Looks great. This should do it. Hey, man, I'm a pro. And you're sure about this, right? Yeah, no problem. I'm a pro, too. <laughs> That's one you owe me, Daryl. Just a, okay. Man, he really wants this gold and everything like that if he's willing to lie to his fellow fellow, you know, soldiers. You know, like I said, there's a difference between like talking to an officer and talking to a soldier, you know, camaraderie and all that stuff, so I think he says if we go back to Thing, I think he uh, Mech says the same thing. Yeah, okay. Whoops. Alright. Let's go back to the command center and tell the good news. Tell them all about the good news. Actually, I wonder. I know we just have to talk to Donalds, but I like her working men, Sergeant. So maybe you should go out there and start looking for that transport. How about you, dude? Rumor has it that the government Diaz has a secret cache in the basement of his manor. Hmm. Well, not anymore. Sir, we have good news. We found the transport. What? Is this true, Sergeant? Here's the report, sir. 
Uh, the, tra uh, the transports emitting a distress signal due south of our position. We have a pretty good idea of how far south to. Hmm. Major, get me first platoon. We're going to retrieve the transport's cargo. Sir, permission to join the search, sir. Finally decide to do some work, eh? All right, permission granted. Sir, we could probably use a truck to carry the transport's cargo. Hmm, I guess you're right. Major, give them an allocation order for one of them trucks. Yes, sir. Corporal, give the sergeant an allocation order. Yes, Major. Here you go, Sergeant. Bring this to the hangar and you'll get your truck. Thanks. Love you, Corporal. Good luck, Sergeant, for our future and all that, right? Of course. Reyes, Schaefer, we have ourselves a set of wheels. Things are looking up. If we get some information on the state along with the cargo, the general will have to promote me. Hmm. Well, good for your promotion. General Donalds. I like the sound of that. <laughs> good for you, Donalds. We'll select the colonel as well in a good mood. Thank God for that. Yeah, glad we can help you out, dude. I just remember seeing they're repeating or anything like that. It doesn't make sense. The transport was heading east, according to our reports. Oh, he just believed us all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, we did kind of... Not kind of threat, but sort of the, our friend? Yeah, anyway. Good luck, Sergeant. Okay. Repeat. Okay. Yeah. Who knew how loose this army was? Apparently, Donalds must not be an actual very good... Uh, uh, commander or something like that if this just if it's just going around like this okay. I'm just seeing if these guys have any unique dialogue before we head out okay back to oops back to the hangar we go we got ourselves a truck time to set, get ourselves some gold we use the allocation order can we take a break uh, take truck now yeah no problem hey you there give me uh, give these guys a truck to the key key to the truck thanks Old as all, old as you know. All right, let's move out. Well, yeah, I should probably say, I didn't actually save it between the last episode to redo that fight, so, oh well. I basically got the same result, so there's not gonna be any difference in my stats. Hey, Brynjus, you said you had work from your connections? Yes. If it's who I think it is, can you collect what he owes me? Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry about it. Just give it to me when you come back, all right? Uh, yeah, like we'll be coming back. Ugh. What's with the gloomy mug? Well, I, I mean, this is the last time we'll see everyone, right? It is? Hey, man, don't look at me. Just don't look so glum, okay? People will think we're up to something. <laughs> yeah, they are. I mean, if you're going to abandon the army, this is the last you'll see of your fellow comrades and like I say if you're a soldier there's kind of something there I mean obviously it depends on the personalities but you know usually people who fought in the wars have kind of a deeper connection than other types of people especially if you're next to someone in a hail of gunfire although apparently according to this it doesn't sound like they didn't have have had much action so I think it's just because the UCS is kind of watching and waiting for to see how the situation in Venezuela turns Although they have been shooting down airport transports. Eh, it's probably one of those where they're biding their time for major missions and stuff like that. Don't want to seem like an oppressive force, despite it basically being all these nations united against this like one little country. Although the... What the? Well, you just got shot by a rocket, dude. Yeah. Looks like we got caught in the middle of an engagement. You think they know we have the gold? There's no way. No, we were the only ones at the crash site. They can't know. They probably just, you know, your UCS. So. Still, they're really planning on letting us go in one piece. We have to fight. Yeah, let's show them what we're made of. Uh, do you guys actually know how to fight? It's actually weirdly interesting to see how an actual transport truck would actually work. In most games, they would just have the truck and they would just pop out of the truck during the combat, so you don't actually get to see how they actually get stored. But yeah, it's got a nice change of pace to actually see how the mechanics would actually work if it actually did. So, all right. So we've got uh, Daryl, Reynes, and Schaefer in the group. Daryl is your um, shotgun slash melee -er. 
um, in this combat. So he's kind of like I'm trying to think of a good example. He's like what uh, well, he's like the main character from the third game would have been if you took off a shotgun option. That would have been a way to build him. But uh, then Reyes is our first time to get a uh, rifle in the game. Does a nice chunk of damage and usually it'll hit for the most part, except in rare circumstances. And then uh, Schaefer is our is our repair bot, so we'll probably be utilizing him quite a bit in this fight because of uh, the uh, enemy we're fighting against. So anyway, let's set everyone. I think Renny is always has to, yeah Renny is always has to be there. You just put whoever in this spot. So and unfortunately you can't customize our our dude. So time of day, clear, destroy all enemies. Yeah, unfortunately, since we can't customize our dudes, we just have to accept what we what our main setup is, which uh, it, I think all of our armors are blast or fire, which is actually probably what I would have done anyway because of the enemy work uh, counter, which is going to be... Yep, we have our first missler of the game, and it's during the the UCS campaign. Uh, uh, guy moves a two with a, and a valiant set of armor. He's got plus one to his... Missile, so he does uh, good damage at this point. Uh, no links. Actually, I think when, if enemies get links, it's a long time before we start seeing links from enemies, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, not too much. Yeah, he's going to be the biggest threat or damage dealer for the first part of the fight, so he's the one we had to go after first. Or towards first, anyway. Then we got Husky Mark III, a Salter unit, which has a machine gun. So he'll be another... He'll be more annoying than a straight-up threat because he doesn't do full damage because he doesn't have a machine gun point. Uh, but you got Raptor in both arms, so you can't do, like, in this game, where if you get lucky, aim for the arms or hit his arms, and he's worthless. Unfortunately, that ain't going to happen in this case. So, And we got our first tanks in the game, too. Uh, VCS Tank Crew, the V6 Arnold. Uh, they move four slots, and I forgot what their shoot range is. I think it's, like, two, two plus or something like that. They tend to get up weirdly. They get decently close before they fire, weirdly enough. Um, luckily, no bonuses, but they do, you know, kind of imp a decent amount of impact damage. Yeah, about 75 damage per one, and there's two of them. Uh, luckily, they've only got one HP bar, so no splitting it up between. Kind of like the last game is between the treads and the body. This time, they just make it all one one piece. So Then we've got one final assaulter right there, way in the back. He'll start attacking you when you get about... Probably when you move about right here, I think, maybe here. It's usually when, when you hit the road about here is when he starts targeting. Same with these guys. These guys don't target you till you hit about, till either you straight up shoot them or you get about, I say about right here is when they actively move to attack you. So we can ignore these guys for now. At the beginning, these guys will attack us. And I think the range on the missile launcher is like, I think seven. But uh, the, the, I think what they expect you to do during this is to go over the bridge because of the... Um, we haven't gone over this in the game yet because I skipped the tutorial to do later. But the water doubles your move actions through it. So anytime you take a step instead of it being 1 AP, it's 2 AP. So usually that's why they probably think you're supposed to just go through the water, which you probably would think the first time through. But we want to get rid of that missler because if we go through the bridge, we're going to have to activate these guys get attacked by them then he's going to target us while we're fighting them and yeah that can make this fight really dangerous if you do this this is actually i wouldn't say a super tough fight but it can it can get dangerous if we don't if we don't pay attention uh but that's why we're probably going to use schaefer's healing abilities quite often so yeah you'll find out repairs are really awesome in this game because that way you don't have to have a item you can have a repair bot instead of buying items to repair your stuff like in the previous game although I tried not to repair stuff anyway. I, I think when I did the Alyssa campaign, I don't think I even repaired my body types once because I never... I always put everyone on power backpacks or whatever, so... Unfortunately, we are going to get hit a few times by the missler while crossing the water, but at least we won't have to worry... Huh, I didn't expect it to move that way. Maybe it's because of rain is or some of them. Um, usually they move down this way or forward. That's weird. Anyway... Uh, let's see, can I actually hit him from here? Yes, we can. All right, we'll still want Renyas to move closer so we can eventually get to you. But, um, yeah, see how it's, if I move forward into the water, it's two per one, so, but we only need six. So, and yeah, rifles are pretty good because like, they only get one shot, but it's a over, it's 150 damage roughly, and it has pretty good range. He, uh, or, well, it has good range, but also it has really good accuracy. Like, most times you'll very rarely get under, 
like maybe 80% with a rifle. I mean, like I said, there are exceptions, but. Now you still can't miss because of weirdness, but you know, for the most part, it's, um, might have to, yeah, might want to keep Schaefer close to his, because his repair thing is four slots, so, or four spots, so he should generally be in the center of all of your party members, so. And since we're not going to be countering for a few turns, yeah. Actually, him, count, him chasing after Rainiers is actually not very good, especially, hopefully, the missile. I might have to, uh, you know, luckily, have a decent uh, evade. I kind of hope he doesn't, uh, the missile doesn't target Rainiers first, because Rainiers is, because he's a glass cannon, he's kind of squishy, and it's, uh, oh, yeah, I guess I should have gone over Armex as well. Uh, Rainiers is in the Rhesus armor, which is kind of similar to, uh, Oh, I forgot the names of the characters. The the basically my riflers or snipers from the previous game. He's they're basically similar to that. Where I think I I forgot what the USCS. Well, this does take place before uh, uh, Front Mission Three, so they might use slightly different mechs. But yeah, they're basically squishy. So be careful on that. Um, so yeah, we want to make sure if anyone we want Daryl. Well, either Daryl or Schaefer to get mainly targeted because of their, uh, um, well, I kind of want to get him out of the water, uh, so I think Rainius could take a few shots. I may have to have him step back out of land, so, uh, that way the missile will go after our, uh, Daryl instead, so... I don't want to move too far away because I want him eventually to start targeting me. Uh... Oh yeah, you want to make sure. Yeah, technically I could hit him. Yeah, see, even at that far away, he still got a pretty good to hit ratio on him. So, oh yeah, I forgot to go over uh, Daryl's setup. So, yeah, Daryl is a Bl Blizia L model. Uh, move six, two legs. Uh, yeah, no points in any of his weaponry, but he's got a speed of two and nine evasion. So decent evasion is at his point, and he has impact weaponry and stuff like that so I don't think in this fight actually any of the armors have which is good yeah none of them have any armor against us so okay anyway um oh yeah and like the last game you don't you want to make sure that each each character gets uh uh damage on one character so they get the full EP credit I might just have them stand his ground if I move although I could move one forward and attack the missler because we want to get rid of him first. The, the machine gun guy is going to be annoying, uh, but the yeah, the missler is going to be... Yeah, hit him in the leg. I'd rather it be the body, but... Yeah, not really got to counter Ruinius. Hopefully, I got Daryl moved. I moved Daryl far enough to... Uh, yeah, see how easily his HP is just kind of like going down? Ah, oh, no. It's because I moved too close. Dang it. Well, luckily we got the repair unit. But still, that's that kind of sucks. Oh well. All right, let's see if we can get a get him to like back off. He'll if he gets encountered too closely, he'll usually usually he'll back off, like run away if we get too close to him. So. Yeah, I'll probably uh probably need to use Schaefer to heal him. If anything, I need to heal the body because one of those missiles could. Let's see, the missile damage on that I think is 80 or 70 per shot. Let me see again. Uh, 80, and it's twice, so you could possibly hit Rania's twice in the body. Usually, it kind of spreads out decently, but I want to make sure that Rania's doesn't get killed um, with a good shot. So because you know, you never know. Yeah, I should have had uh, Daryl find a way to, like, target him, because now, uh, really? You're going to keep... Huh. Usually he backs off when we start getting too many targets in the way, so... All right. Well, like I said, this is one of the more tougher fights, at least relative to your um, strength in the game, so... <laughs> at least I'm showing you how the repair works. Basically, you just choose it, highlight, and then you can either choose repair restore or remove status we don't have any remove status so anyway let's restore his body part so all right hmm. i might just back off then because oh by the way if you want to know a good idea of how like 
what range his missile is. It's pretty much the same as uh, Renya's is a weapon. So if you can hit him, he can hit you with a missile. So if I back off, maybe I'll target Daryl from uh, now. Now let's get up close and personal so we can get the most out of my shotgun damage. Oh yeah, I forgot he had melee. <laughs> Dude, luckily it doesn't do a ton of damage. At least at this point, because he's not built for that, so. Oh, there goes his legs. Yeah, I'm probably, well, when I play tested this, like, really good, dude? Man, this is what happens when, when someone gets like pre-targeted. It's like, nope. They 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 come out with a vengeance, dude. Man. Uh, okay, so yeah, when I play tested this, it was uh, Daryl was the target of everyone's aff uh, aff affection. But uh, yeah, I'm just getting really unlucky with this. You know. Uh, unfortunately, if I don't restore, now yeah, let's repair his body. Yeah, let's keep targeting. Well, at this point, we're going to just have to keep targeting the Missler and hopefully we get lucky. Oh, right. Daryl, uh, or, um, uh, Schaefer hasn't gotten his attack in on the target, but, uh, yeah, he's causing too much of a threat. I need to, I need to vacate him from, a, from the premises. He just won't get as much EP from the counter, so, oh, well. I mean, if it really, if it really comes down, I'd, uh, I can, uh, redo this fight off screen. I know he'll lose a couple points of EP, but it might not break the bag for me. Yeah, and since we have no legs, we can't avoid any of his attacks, so even though Renyas has a pretty good evade um, ability, uh, yeah, better heal. Or better get his legs back up. I'm trying to remember how many turns it usually takes to finish this in a decent amount of time. Uh, I get one shot off on it. I think it's like 12 rounds or something like that is a relatively um, good amount of time to finish this off. Yeah, I kind of got a bit unlucky that they, for whatever reason, decided to target Radiant during this. I said when I played. Well, luckily, actually, does he need? I think I think he does actually need both arms to shoot. Let me see. I haven't actually tested that in forever. Huh? No, he can still shoot. He just loses a ton of accuracy if he doesn't have both of his arms. So. I ain't got my arms. I ain't got my legs. Oh, whoops! I meant to restore. Well, poo. <laughs> All right, we're gonna grab it. Just counter so. I need to get a... Really? Wow. I need to get Schaefer to get an attack on it, on one of these guys so I can get, give him his credit. Let's see if he hits him even with the only 50% accuracy. Yeah, I don't think so. And he needs both of his arms for this one, so... Alright, let's do this right this time. Let's restore his arm. This is actually taking me longer to take these guys out than when I play tested this man. <laughs> now that's what happens. The, the let's play curse, you know. Yeah, another target Schaefer should have gotten. Uh, actually, like I said, when I play tested this, I got Schaefer. I got everyone to target everyone once, but for some reason, I'm just having pretty bad luck with the uh, with this encounter. Oh well. It'll be interesting to see how much difference the EP is when he didn't help uh, with attacks. So, you know, let's just prepare the body. That's the most important thing. If the body goes, obviously he dies and he can't come back. So, no, no getting credit for him and all that. So. Yeah. yeah, you guys aren't going to move until I get to a relatively close thing. That's why I didn't want to go on the bridge. So, I'm gonna repair again. Might as well if you're. Uh, oh yeah, you can repair all parts, but I think it's a lot less than if you target a specific area. I forgot how it. I think it's like 20% of the total or something like that. If you do all parts, then if you just do one part or something like that. So 
Let me give it one more turn. I think uh, I'm good here. If I targeted one of the dudes, though, they would immediately come after me. So I'll wait one more turn. And then, yeah. And then I'll start targeting him. And I'll target the the tank first, or one of the tanks, and have him get in close. And then we can both gang up on him. This Now that he's targeted, he'll, he'll chase after us. Uh, hopefully, I'll get Daryl to be the... Um, subject of his wrath, but we'll see what happens. Or Schaefer, is Schaefer either either character? I don't care who gets the target, just not as long as it's Rainy is. Yeah, I got really unlucky during this encounter to have Rainy is be targeted by those two mechs. I was actually I should have moved back a bit further so I could have uh, got him to uh, get closer. But. Really? Wow, the, the percentages, man. Right, let's see, now that he's targeted Daryl, I think I can, uh, oops. Now I can, uh, yeah, just repair it. Like I said, if you're gonna do anything, might as well, there's not like a limit on how many times you repair something. So. And luckily this game, for those who are like, oh yeah, I'm a bit far away so I can't counter, uh, because they got a, a shoot range of four, I think, but, Okay, now that they're decently close, I can I can move everyone in a little bit closer for better hit to hit percentages. But there's no grading in this game, so you just get your credit in whatever. So, um, so you don't have to worry about playing specifically better than you would normally. That type of thing. I kind of I kind of miss the fact that there's not a really a, like an S rank platinum or whatever. So, but yeah, what can you do? Oh yeah, if I move too close, he'll back off a bit. So, but, eh. well, he's yeah, I'll move too close. Unfortunately, our percentages aren't as good as a uh, rainy is. Hitting this guy up close does do quite a decent amount of damage. Oh, he decided not to back off. Well, when I like I said when I play tested it, he tended to to back off like one or two. I guess I got too close. Dang it. I was hoping to target him, but no one. I can take the damage. Luckily, this guy won't move until we get, like, about right here. Or, I think maybe if both tanks are destroyed, he'll he'll start coming after us. One of the two, but... But we can take our time with this, with this guy, so... Probably have Daryl get healed. So... Try to get some point blank range damage. Actually, I might just have Daryl attack him. Or Daryl, uh, Schaefer attack him. He might do enough damage to finish him off. That way, I wanted to worry about healing. Yeah, Daryl's basically like Hermes. He's not. He's not. He's not like Rio from a. Uh, number three where he's like one of the best characters in the game because of his uh, auto fire ability and stuff like that no not quite he can be built up to be pretty decent but weirdly enough it's like the shotgunners that kind of get the, the the run of the show for the most part slowly getting closer so. is that guy got a cigarette in his mouth as part of his portrait or is that supposed to be a radio i think it i think it's supposed to be a radio but Still, it looks like a cigarette from here. Yeah, this might take a few turns because, uh. Yeah, no, we'll just try to get the best percentage we can. Although, really, Schaefer isn't really meant to be a damage, damage guy anyway, so. Oh, I got too close. Dang it. <laughs> Once again, I misjudged my. misjudged the range. Oh well. Oh, I, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna attack Rainy. I'm like, why? You already have a target. Ooh, nice. And close enough to get in a, uh, another shot. So. And yeah, I gotta finish off. Well, I mean, the tank hasn't been doing too much with us, but. Yeah, when one guy's one, one life bar and then someone has multiple life bars, who do you go after first, you know? Alright, nice. And then we should get a... 
close to that guy. Both tanks down. One more assaulter to go. And Daryl gains a level. Let's see if I can back off Rainy is and see if we can get a um, Schaefer and uh, Daryl to keep him at bay or keep him away from Rainy's. I mean, he'll still target him, but I'm hoping that like I can maybe block him off or something like that, and keep him from like getting too many movements or something like that. Actually, we might get lucky if we can do enough damage to his legs. No, yeah, he can still target Rainius, but but it'll be the lowest percentage to hit. And of course, he hits a good deal of the time, but still. Oh well. Uh, when I was playtesting this, this guy was like the best assaulter ever. I swear he was avoiding every single one of my my attacks. Like every time, I had to like uh, I had, I swear I had to like attack him like. Oh, I don't know, like, I, I had to use quite a few turns to hit him, basically, because he kept avoiding my shots, but now that he has no legs, I don't have to worry about that anymore, so. And it's just uh, weird with the, how numbers work in this game, you know, or just odds in general. I could stay where I am, but I just wanted to mess around him. Haha! Eh, not the most efficient fight, but uh, it still got the job done, so. Now yeah, let's see how the EP uh, went. Eh, about, so I guess him not assisting doesn't, uh, didn't affect the EP too much. Although I think last time I played, I think Daryl ended up getting 31 AP and Schaefer got 32. I think randy has got like 29 or something like that, so. Okay. Hey, that'll work. Is it bad? Well, it looks pretty bad. It redefines bad. The engine shot. Literally. I don't have the tools to repair it here. You know, the Rainius' voice actor kind of does more of the deep voice than really more of an accent. Maybe I, when I do his voice, I can just do the my super gravelly deep voice or something like that. Uh, so we're going to have to carry the gold with our Vonsers again? Uh, how, how bad for you? The state army's on our heels. We won't be able to make it past the border without a truck. Dang it. Yeah, you're right. Well, now what? Hey, Chafer, how do they look? I found one who's in pretty good shape. Okay. Uh, oh, are you going to steal his part, uh, like nick him for parts or something? Good job. Make sure he doesn't get away. He could be our ticket out of this country. Oh, one guy who didn't get straight up murdered? Well, I mean, it's war, so I don't blame him. They were fighting back on him, so. But man. Uh, well, the tables have turned for our, uh, for our three stooges here. This kind of reminds me of, uh, the plotline kind of reminds me of the Fools Who Would Be King. It might be based off that concept. Or, was it wasn't the Fools Who Would Be King. The men, the men, the, no, the Fools Who Would Be King was a D&D &D campaign that ran, uh, ran in the same vein of that. No, it would be the men who would be king. And I think it's in the same vein, the whole, they find a treasure. I could be wrong. It's been forever since I watched that movie. But now that without a truck, it's gotta take, it's gotta be a hectic travel to carry all that gold. Will the gold be too heavy for them physically and mentally as it weighs on their soul? Or will they get a lucky break in the midst of all this chaos? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 4. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.